Hey everybody, welcome to X-Plane 11. I'm Bill and we're in Sitka, Alaska, as you can obviously tell. And we've got the Tundra tired version of the the Twin Otter. Um, and actually, I th oh, I haven't uh, I have not flown this plane, so it does not have any. This I guess it changes per livery. Yeah, the uh, the views change per livery. So bear with me one moment here while I configure these views. Um, while I do this, what I wanted to do is um, do kind of a simulated, um, not really emergency flight, but uh, a simulated flight that would um, constitute having the Tundra tires and flying somewhere quickly. Um, and kind of foregoing the usual like pre-planning and navigation. So um, this is what I wanted to do. So here, here's Sitka. This is really cool airport too. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna fly out of here and go to this little. It's called Cake, um, and I'm going to just kind of simulate a scenario where. Um, I've got to get here. Maybe there's like a medical emergency, or some hikers need some supplies, or something. Something happened here, and I need to. Yeah, like maybe somebody at this logging camp here, or here, there was there was an accident, and we need to get here as soon as possible, and with a doctor, and provide like on-site. Uh, medical assistance. So that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible and see if I can if I can do it. So uh let's go. What is the We got Papa Alpha Foxtrot Echo Path. Let's try to remember that. Okay. So <coughs> skip this thing this thing on okay on 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 uh, that you leave those alone right okay so once we once we get the engines warmed up we'll um, uh, do then get the navigation started up so let's see if I Got this thing going. Damn it, what am I doing wrong with this? and off. Uh, I don't know why I'm screwing that up constantly. Okay. And as you can tell, it's beautiful out today. Okay, so that is up and running. And oh, yep, flight plan. We need to clear this. Go flight plan. And let's just see if there is a nearest. And let's see if it's on here. Yep, it is. Okay. Enter. We want to go direct to activate. Okay. Now let's get. Got that in there. Uh, 
let's get the ATIS for this guy. Do I even have that ability? Details, ATIS 135.9. 135.9. giving us a uh, runway, so that's okay. We know that we'll be taking off from this end, thanks to Mr. Winsock. Okay, and how are we doing engine-wise? In the green, in the green, in the green, in the green. Looks good. Okay, let's get our uh, landing lights get those on. Still not working. Those are still not working. Anti-collision position. Taxi. Pedo heat. And okay, I think we're okay. What's the, what's the temp? Side temp. It's pretty, pretty cold. So, okay. Let's check. Make sure the doctor's back here. Yep, he's back there, ready to go. Okay. All right. So the airport that we are going to be um, landing at is a hard surface, but it is in very poor condition. So that's why I opted to go with the Tundra tire. And we'll see if that was a wise choice or not. Okay, so that was a pretty pretty good quick startup. Um, let's get the range on this. crazy these mountains are going to be. And luckily we do not have any traffic to contend with. And taxi right. Peter we can get the Peter Lee down. Alright, we're looking good. We're set. So I think one of these valleys should be should be pretty good for us. So we've got 15 degrees flaps, and we're ready to go. Runway 11, it is. Okay, there's 80, and we should be able to just. This thing takes off so quick. This livery is pretty cool too. I like that that black and red looks good. Okay. And here's our magenta line. So we we don't want to fly around this range because that would take too long, but we're going to fly through it. And we're going to go head right to that graphical whatever that is. God, that place down there. Okay, we need to pull these guys. 
guys back. Still got full power, we still want to climb pretty fast. And I'm going to try to stay out of the clouds if we can. Settled there. Let's lose back a little bit. Okay, looks good. I would like to find where the uh, windshield wipers are. Does anybody know? This is pretty sweet right here. Let's check this out. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty awesome looking right there. All right, we'll get this this locker guy some medical attention. That's really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna fly right through this valley. Let's say distance. Okay, so we're good on distance. To 200 knots. That looks trippy. Whoa, that looks weird. We are close to those mountains. This is getting a little sketchy here. Let's see. Okay, yeah, this is real sketchy. <coughs> I'm just gonna fly right out of this. Right through the clouds. Really dangerous. Kept it level though, just gotta keep an eye on the horizon. And according to the charts, we are above any peaks, so we're good there. I just have to literally watch this. Scary. 
this is really scary. up, still level. What's the temperature doing? It's dropping. Probably gonna be That was wild. Okay, so let's turn, get back on our course here. And we need Oh, yeah. Okay. We need where's the anti icing? at the moment. Okay, let's get this on. Let's get nav and let's hold altitude. Okay. Because I need to de-ice your boots. Prop de-ice and take de-ice. We know what. Extend intake deflector. Okay, so we made it over the mountains. We made it through the clouds. We are now getting pretty close to where we're going to descend down into. Let's get the charts up here. working with sky vector here and I want to make sure that sit good here we go I want to make sure that we descend not into a mountain so we got 47 and about halfway we're clear 47 nautical miles and halfway we're clear so that is past halfway. So now let's get this down to 8,000 feet. Okay, so <laughs> pull the power way back now. <clears throat> okay, 
Okay, so keep wings level. We're headed in the right direction. Right, we're going down. I don't want to go down too fast, though. And we should pop out right, right above the water. This is really sketchy. to speed. Okay, 14 miles out. This poor doctor is getting sick in the back. We're going down really fast, buddy. Got plenty of altitude. Well, why did why did that autopilot get so screwed up? Okay, so this is a pretty steep descent. Two hundred feet per minute. Just oh, sorry, two thousand feet per minute. speed is steadily climbing We're pretty level 12 miles out gotta get under this cloud cover that would help okay there's a first first layer done
Thank God this thing is trimmed really level. Is that... Okay. There's water. Okay. Good, good, good. That's comforting. Visibility is really crappy, but that's not. That's fine. Nine miles out. some really, really sketchy cloud stuff. Speaking of clouds... Okay, so we are skimming the water a thousand feet. Definitely gonna have to do a fly over to see what this thing looks like. Six miles out. Should be able to maybe see something. Yep, there it is. There it is, okay. That does look really sketchy. Alright, we're close though. are almost there, injured logging guy. Okay, so let's configure everything for landing. Let's go full mixture. Let's get the props full. Get the power back. coming in at. I'm not going to touch the flaps yet because I still want to be making good time. Is this thing 3D? Holy crap it is. That's insane. The scenery is really cool. So it is definitely uncontrolled. But need a windsock here. Size runway. Where is the windsock? Okay. So 
so that's good. We'll be at runway 11. Runway 11. So we got visual on that. Let's pull the power back. suppose we probably would have had someone's help telling us which runway is active, now that I think about it. Let's go 25. And we should be coming around right on top of this runway. Yep. Like a glove. For being this remote it's got freaking pappy lights and a tree line right in front of the runway so we don't want to get too low got a nice little crosswind here bad. No need for reversers on this one. But we got to get this thing turned around here. I guess there's really no place to do that. Well, <clears throat> that was probably, even even with like Lukla and St. Bart's, that was the sketchiest flight I've done. Into a canyon, through clouds, probably icing conditions. But we got to help this guy out. my truck parked on the flight line and this thing really does not want to taxi right now okay the guys in this hangar here you go Kind of a good view. Big old crop. 
crosswind. Got the rudder working. That was pretty nice, actually. <laughs> bad at all. Sweet. All right. All right, guys. Well, we made it, so that's good. And that guy's going to live. And it is like it's way windier than I thought it was. Right on. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. I try to do as many of these as possible. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up so I know to do more, more like this. That was kind of fun. But um, let me know what you think. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.